that's what we name the Irish Community Club. Why did you decide on that? Uh, because the, the location was Norris, mm -hmm. and uh, it was named after Norris School, and they had had a name that I didn't like, a slogan they had for it. They called it The Hole. Well, I never did go with that because I, I, I just don't believe that people would live in holes. And uh, so that's had been, I'd been punning my mind with it, and so had uh, the preacher, one of the preachers that I, that I talked to. Uh, he would always uh, talk to the people down, talk them when they started calling their community lived in a hole. He, he, he did not like that either. Uh, so he started preaching it over the pulpit. He would tell them, you do not live in a hole. Foxes live in holes, wolves, and so on. We're not animals. So stop low grading or degrading your own community by calling it whole. So it may sound good to you, but it doesn't look good. You're degrading and low grading yourself by doing that. And some of the people, but it's still today, some choose to call it the whole as a slang. I don't know what, but uh, I don't guess they mean any harm uh, intentionally, but it's just the way they talk about the place they live. Do you know? correct them when, when you hear it? Oh, yes. Whenever, every time I hear it, I correct it That's, uh, in, a, in a nice way. I, I, I try and tell them, look, uh, I know you probably don't mean any harm by it, but it, it just, I don't live in no hole. I said, I live in the Norse community. I said, I don't consider it as a hole. I said, why should you want to low grade your, your, your place you live as a, by calling it a hole? Mm -hmm. I said, one time it appeared to be something like a hole, but we have long since grown away from that. So let's not... Uh, put ourselves back there by conversation or by uh, thinking it's something cool to say because it's not. I say it's very stupid to call your own home where you live a hole. And they would agree, and uh, they wouldn't. They, they've never gotten angry at me about doing it. I just say out of respect, but uh, they they never would. Uh, argue the point with me about it. They would just go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Reed. I, I we, we, and go ahead on with that conversation. Names matter. But uh, I, I never liked that. Did you? Um, it wasn't uh, just the community members calling it the whole, was it? It was the white community as well, or did did you have to correct people you at know, city council? You know, actually, uh, uh, I haven't had to. Uh, I don't recall mm -hmm. correcting no city councilman as calling it the whole. They would call it call it Norris, okay. people of Norris, or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I well, I imagine they have overheard me, uh, uh, and I have. I brought it to their to their attention uh, uh, at the city council meetings uh, about how they call the place we live on the kind of the dark streets. Poor head, poor lights, and uh, muddy streets. I said, you know, that's they refer to that as a hole. I said, but you know, that's that, that, it's a community there, and they would agree with me, and uh, and I think they knew better than just to come out with that because they didn't want to hear the story that I had to tell them behind it. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would certainly, uh, you know, criticize them and uh, about it. Yeah. <laughs> So you were uh, you were raised in Ladonia, am I right? Uh, well, I attended uh, school in Ladonia up to the ninth grade, and that's when I uh, my parents passed away. Uh, my adopted parents they were the only parents that I knew. My biological uh, mother died when I was five years old, uh, and that was in Roxton, Texas. Okay, is that is that near? Uh, yeah, Roxton's about no, Roxton's about twenty three mm -hmm. miles from here. You go, you leave here and go on out to Pecan Gap, and then you you turn and and go, kind of like you're going to a, a 
Ben Franklin. Okay. And you go across the bridge over there, and dang, once you get off kind of down in the lower part of the uh, uh, of the terrain there, well then, there's Roxton. Yes. Did you, um, you ever go back there? Oh, yes, no. yes. I have uh, half-sisters that live there. In fact, I have, and brothers I have. Uh, they were on my father's side. They live there now, some of them. Hmm. I have one sister that live in Paris, but my uh, biological sister, I'll say, because she and I was from the same mom, uh, it was three of us. Richard was the oldest brother, and then there was Robert, and then myself. Of course, my sister, uh, I'm, uh, she, she's the baby. Okay. <coughs> and it was only one girl. Okay. Oh wow. Yes, and mm -hmm. she's still living. She lives in a uh, in a uh, Dallas, Texas. Oh, okay. Did, um, what your uh, your brothers aren't uh, are they uh, still around? My brothers, no, they they passed away. One most recently passed was a uh, was Robert. He passed in Dallas. Uh, he was, of course, he left a family behind of uh, two one girl a boy, and a wife. Did, um, uh, were you the only one that stayed in the area, or did everybody go to the city? Uh, I'm the only one that came back to Commerce because my mama's sister lived here in Commerce, Delia Allen. Mm -hmm. I, uh, uh, I moved back after coming out of the service, uh, well, I came back to Commerce, and uh, and uh, because she was the oldest, like I say, and she and I lived together uh, for a while in the projects, and uh, they 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 kind of frowned on that because she was uh, I think she was was getting some sort of a federal assistance mm -hmm. for the. Uh, Tarter Homes. It was Tarter Homes at the time, and uh, but we. Uh, uh, she told me. Uh, she says, "I want a home." I says I, 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 I'm, I'm getting tired. Says, you know, I'm too old to be just moving around uh, from place to place like this. And we agreed, and we talked. She and I used to have very serious talks. Uh, I don't know how somehow she, I was the one that she took a liking to. She. Uh, we just were together. We, I just, I, she was kind of like mom to me, you know. And uh, we uh, we got together, and I told her I went to work out here uh, on the college campus here for a company, H. B. Zachary Company. It was in the process of building these uh, uh, buildings out here on the campus, and, 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 and you know, there's sewage and foundation for buildings and all this stuff. He was uh, he was the head contractor over that, so I was, that's who I worked for. Uh, not only myself, but it was a lot of people in commerce was uh, uh, worked under that same company until they uh, completed the uh, 